All right, hey, hey, it's Mega here, and welcome to uh, our the first ride video for uh, the EMX Ron powered Suron Lightbe. All right, the EMX Ron kit. All right, so I just installed this bad boy. The last thing I did last night was I installed this DKD display. All right, it's really nice. We'll see if it how well it works in the daytime. I I'm not gonna lie, I took it for a spin last night. All right, and um, and I was somewhat disappointed all right but uh we're gonna i'm gonna take it out and i'll show you guys how it runs you know um it runs pretty good all right um no hiccups at all so basically i installed it and it ran right off the bat so that's that's something good right there i'll tell you because whenever i installed anything from ert there's always some kind of problem with it <laughs> okay so we're gonna take it for a ride real quick and i'll let you guys know what's up so okay so since we're in the shade right now, I will show you the DKD display. I've got to turn my GPS on so we, we can compare. The GPS is here because I was calibrating this, all right? As you can see, I twist the throttle and it goes. There's the display. It has, I think this is an amp meter, this tachometer here. It would be nice if it was a tachometer, but it's an amp meter because it says times 10 amps. Why can't I get a tachometer, you know? 7,000, right, is how much this, this motor does-ish. Okay, there's a battery gauge right here. All right, it's in bars. I don't like that. I wish it was in percent, but it's okay because I have one down here too. This one tells me my percent. I've got all sorts of gauges on my bike, guys. <laughs> this one tells me my percent. This one tells me my voltage. And this one gives me a, you know, a bar graph depiction of how much charge we got. So that's great. I mean, I can just look at it. Oh, we got about half a charge, you know. Um, I don't, I haven't really ridden with it all that much. So I don't know how fast reacting it is. All right. Um, Got to make sure and charge this for tomorrow's race. Um, okay, you've got a speedometer in the center and a big letters. It'll go one and then whatever. <laughs> I'd like, I don't think you're going 100 miles an hour on a Soron 80s Mega. There's a gear uh, indicator and a miles per hour and then a trip meter. So this this also does have an odometer, but you gotta turn the bike off and turn it on. I don't know if you can turn it on. So now it says I rode, so I rode this for five miles last night, all right? And then it disappears and it turns into a trip meter, all right? Um, but the trip meter will disappear every time you can't reset it. So I kinda don't like that. Um, I would like a regular trip meter like the stock one, all right? But I, I don't wanna have two displays, guys. <laughs> Um, so here's the here's the way the bike is set up. All right, uh, it's pretty much a DIY kit, guys. You 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 do it yourself type of thing. But like yeah, you just slap it on there. You've got the sport mode and EP mode switch. All right, and then you've got the warp drive button. All right. Um, what Austin told me is the higher number of your gear is, the more power you'll have. All right. So um, so so right now. He said, he said that when you hit the warp drive button, it turns it, it makes the bike slower. So now we're in gear one, all right? And then when I turn it off, we're in gear two, all right? And then I turn it, put it on sport mode, it says we're in gear four. That means that's the most power, all right? That's the warp drive mode. The warp drive mode is the sport mode, all right, guys? Um, I think if I turn it on, it's still, it's still four, okay? So um, you have, I think you have to be in EP mode and then... And then you turn the switch on, and then that turns it into a slow mode, okay? So so you've got three uh, three modes, the number one gear, number two gear, and number four gear, okay, guys? I think it's, well, I, I forgot what the, what was the on, advertised on the site. I, 10 kilowatts? I will, I will put a subtitle below, all right? Somewhere, there, there's a low, medium, and high, all right? And high, I know, is 14 kilowatts, all right? So... Okay, there's that. I've got I've got a horn I got horn buttons here, but they don't do nothing because I had to take the horn off. Oh, I forgot to ask him about that. <laughs> like, hey, do I can I put my horn back on? <laughs> um, I've got a light switch and it still works and it was it was on actually, and I've got turn signals. They still work. Uh, I found out that I can actually wire the turn signals to this display, and then I can the the turn signal indicator will go on like a regular motorcycle. That's really nice. I like that. I haven't done it yet. All right, and then you've got the warp drive switch on this side. Okay, so those are all the controls. Front brake, rear brake, I don't have the regen throttle anymore. All right, guys, so let's go out for a ride. All right, I've got my, I've got my track wheels on, so I'm not going to go, you know, I don't really want to go ripping around with my, with my slicks on, man. <laughs> I mean, I guess I could, but 
I shouldn't be. Because <laughs> one, these tires are expensive, all right? But we're gonna go for a ride. All right, so I can see in the display, it's visible in the daytime. Okay, um, I hit a max of 54 miles an hour, but I'm gonna reset it right now. Okay, and we're gonna go head on out. I'm going to show you the power. So this is the number one mode. It's still pretty zippy in number one. All right, I can see I can see the the gauge in the daytime. All right, pretty nicely. The shadow of the of the thing. So the region is very slow. All right, is what I want to say. All right, so that's the number one mode. So I guess the more power that we're consuming, the the tachometer sweeps, all right? All right, I'm looking at the speedometer right now. I'm looking at the speedometer right now. Let's let's do 20 miles an hour. So at 20 mile 20, oh man, it's hard to keep it that's low. <laughs> 20 miles an hour, it's it's almost spot on. All right, so I got it pretty good. I, I got it calibrated pretty good. Um, all I did was change the wheel num wheel cir circumference size. All right, so 25. It's kind of hard to see in the shadow. Is actually that's the weird thing, right? It's actually brighter in the daylight. That's uh, kind of weird. <laughs> all right, all right. So that's wide open throttle, guys. It's probably about as fast as the stocks are on. Okay. Now we're going to um, turn the warp drive switch off. This is the mode 2. Okay, so that's like a, that's like your regular sport mode, all right? It's a pretty gentle acceleration. Oh, I don't know. Let's see. Let's stop. So there should be some, he did tell me that there's regen, but I don't really feel it, man. It, it's like, a, it's like it's coasting, man. I, I don't like it. I, I wish there was more regen than that. Like, I don't really feel it. All right, but let's do a quick launch. All right. Yeah, it gets up and goes. We just hit 25 miles per hour in like a second, so. <laughs> All right, that's wide open right there. Whoop, 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 whoop. Yeah, we're going 40 miles an hour already. Checking out all the uh, homeless, homeless tents on here. I mean, can you imagine if you lived on this block and you knew there were homeless people living across the street from you? Horrible, yeah. Turn my turn signal on. Okay, so that was like kind of my neighborhood test course. We can go through it a little more. I, I do feel the bike slowing down a little bit, but not a whole lot. You got to use the brakes to slow down. All right. That's wide open acceleration right there in mode two. It's pretty good. Not bad. It's definitely not as uh, zippy as uh, the BAC controller. We're gonna go out. We're gonna go out in the main road, and then we'll we can go a little faster. So. It's definitely got more cojones than a stock Suron. So all right, I'll tell you that. Yeah, the bike just doesn't slow down. So it, it worries me when I, especially if I'm going really fast and I need to go into slow down before getting into a corner. I gotta remember, like, yeah, you can't use the region. So yes, last night I was riding this and I was trying to hit the region throttle. I was like, wait a minute, I got no region. So I've Hades Mega's gotten so used to having that region throttle that yeah, man, <laughs> I miss it already, dude. No, it's such a great gadget to have. All right, so we're in mode two. I will show you the acceleration. There's a lot of cars right now. Yeah, you will. I don't know. Let me see. Let's wait for the traffic to pass. <laughs> But yeah, we can test the calibration of the speedometer at uh, higher speeds. All right, let's see if we can keep up with these cars. Okay. 
At 41, 40 miles an hour, it says we're going 30, 35 or something. So it seems the faster we go, the more off it is. Yeah, so I don't know. Let me, try, let me put my mirrors on to make so I look legit, you know. All right, we're gonna go turn here. Whoa, 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 this guy. Okay, so we're in uh, mode two. All right, we're in the, the medium power mode. And we're gonna rip it. There we go. It's definitely enough to keep up with traffic. All right, we're only going like 30 miles an hour though. We hit 50 just there. Yeah, the speed is off by like like a few miles per hour at 40 miles an hour. Which is, I guess it's okay. Okay, you guys got it? <laughs> or you know what? Let's stop here. So I'm I'm just gonna Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna use the warp drive mode, guys. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna angle my bike this way so we can just launch off and we're gonna wait for the traffic to stop. All right, I'm gonna put it in warp drive mode, um, sport mode, all right? So now it says, it says four there and we're gonna launch this sucker. Here we go. Ready, one, two, three, go. Oh, yeah, it does have a pretty good amount of pull. So that's 200 amps right there, guys. Yeah, is this going to be fast enough for a thing? I don't know, man, for Superboto. Alright, this is 14 kilowatts, guys. Alright, doing about 50 miles an hour right there. 50, we hit 53 miles an hour, guys. Alright, let's not get too crazy. It'll do 45, no problem. I'm at partial throttle at 45. That's the top speed of a stock Soron. How fast this will be at the drag strip? I don't know, man. <laughs> will this be enough power to beat those 65s and 150Rs? I don't know, man. Yeah, I do feel a little bit of regen. It does, it does feel like it's dragging. Oh, that's wide open right there. That's 14 kilowatts? I don't know, man. It doesn't feel like it's all that fast, man. I feel like the BSC 4000 was faster, man. <laughs> I think. I, 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 you, you, you just to guess, I'm not, Hayes Mega is not getting wild by it, alright? I'm getting, not getting wild by the power. I feel, I get the feeling that EMX run, the, the other, the EMX run bike that I rode, the, the race bike was faster than this. And this one has a bigger battery too, so. Well, we are about, uh, we're about we are about 70% charge, so. Okay, Hayes Mega is going riding around with slick tires and stuff around the neighborhood. So, okay, we're gonna take it down the straight here real quick. See if we can keep up with the cars, and then uh, I guess that'll be the end of it. <laughs> All right, so I showed you the three different modes and like what the acceleration is like. All right, the display is nice. I like it. I can see it all the time. The funny thing is in the shadow. What are these guys doing? Come on. Okay, we're gonna have to stop here and then we're gonna merge with traffic, so that's where the fun's gonna be at. So I have to actually use the brakes to slow down now. I kinda don't like that. But. Yeah, especially going down hills, man. I'm gonna burn up my brakes going down hills. He said it's set up for like motocross, right? Well, here we go. It's pretty fast. Yeah, it gets up there fast, man. 
We're doing about 45 right now, almost. But since we're doing 45, Okay, well, it definitely keeps up with this Prius. <laughs> People drive hella fast down this sometimes, so. Alright, we're gonna go make a right turn. We ha will we be fast enough to go on the freeway? Yeah, I think so. 50 miles an hour is enough, man, but. Alright, here we go. Wide open throttle. So the speedometer is about 30 miles an hour off. Yeah, the region is not slowing down very fast, man. I got to really use the brakes to slow it down. It kind of sucks, but. Okay, so yeah, it, it seems pretty. It seems pretty good. I will be racing this tomorrow in the Coyote Creek Sprint Enduro. So there you go. Um, I don't know what mode we're gonna use. Maybe we just use the normal mode, man, because it's got plenty of power in, in the in the normal mode. All right. In the granny mode, it's not the the first mode. The first in gear one. Yeah, it's not that. It's not all that fast, but it's still it's still gear one is like a stock Suron, all right, guys. All right, yeah, I'm not gonna lie. The gear one is like a stock Suron, so if you need a little, if you don't need a, like such a sensitive throttle, it's okay, you know. And then when you put it in gear two, yeah, it's got a little more punch to it, all right? But it, just, it doesn't have as much phase amps, you know, like the, the torque that pulls you off the line, you know. Maybe it's the throttle mapping. I don't know. Here's the second gear. Take off. Oh, oh, it cut out. Oh, shit. It cut out on me. Yeah, I cut out. Well, that's odd. It cut out on takeoff. Well, that's weird. Why is it doing that? All right. Yeah, it cut off on takeoff. I can't have that. Let's do a couple more hard launches, man. Okay, I got it in sport mode. I just had it cut out on me, so... Alright, before we go home... Let me... Let me do a launch. Alright, here we go. Oh! It cut out! Yeah, it's it's cutting out uh, when, I, when I twist the throttle really hard. Oh, that's ice cream truck. Well, I don't know, maybe we just don't roll on the throttle so hard. Yeah, you got this throttle is too fast. It reacts too fast. Man, yeah, it does have a, some decent amount of power in warp drive mode. You can hear it. Wow. Yeah, it seems really fast now. Okay, let's try to launch it again. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't like that hard launch, man. Maybe you just gotta remember, you gotta roll on the throttle, Hayes, maybe. You can't do any super fast launches anymore. <laughs> you gotta remember to roll on the throttle, Hades Mega. Alright, roll on to it. Yeah, I would go half. Don't don't go full throttle first. Go half and then then go the full. I'm I'm not gonna need that tomorrow, so. So the 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 gauge is working. The gauge is like half. It says we're going half right now. We got half the charge. So. Yeah, I would like more regen, man. This is going to be a bitch to ride down hills, man. Mm 
You just have to go faster down a hill. <laughs> I don't like going down hills fast, guys. Well, it does have some get up and go, that's for sure, man. Okay, let's uh, so after all that all that shenanigans, yeah, it, it cuts out still, man. It cuts out when I when I get on the throttle real fast. So I guess we can't launch it like we used to, man. Hayes Mega has to remember just to roll on the throttle, all right. It is pretty. It is pretty warm. Controller's pretty warm, but the motor's really hot. Yeah, yeah, we were ripping around pretty good, man. So let's track this a couple more launches in warp drive mode. Okay, guys. It's not intimidating. Yeah, it doesn't like you. It doesn't like you just instantly getting in the throttle. Try one more. Okay. Ready? One, two, three, go. Yeah, don't. So roll on the throttle. Roll on the throttle. No. Don't just chop that sucker open, man. Okay, let's do another launch. So the 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 battery meter goes up. So the battery meter follows the voltage very closely. Okay, here we go. Yeah, so you gotta learn, Hayes Mega has to learn to roll on the throttle. I can't. All right, let me see if I, let me see if I just open it up right away. What happens? All right. All right, it goes. Yeah, I wanted to get the. I, I bought, the main reason I bought this controller is for the QS motor, man, and, and I, I can't use the QS motor, and it kind of sucks. Oh, there it it died. So yeah, don't don't do that, Hayes Mega. Bat. Yeah, turn it off and turn it back on. Oh, well now it doesn't work at all. Uh oh. Ooh, there we go. It just took off all of a sudden. Okay, so when you launch this thing, you gotta roll on the throttle. So. Okay, you roll on the throttle. No more. Whack it right open, all right? I don't know. Honestly, I the acceleration is not that all that. <laughs> okay, but we'll we'll test it out tomorrow in the race. Hopefully, it won't give us any problems. All right, guys. But hey, it runs. It runs pretty good. It cuts off on hard acceleration, so I'm not gonna. Um, if I open the throttle really fast, it, it doesn't like that. So uh, I'm not gonna lie. It, the bike didn't like that before either. So we're just gotta not open it up all the way like that. We just gotta, we gotta, I gotta remember when I take off, I gotta roll on the throttle. Okay, none, none of, none of this, just, okay, but that makes me wonder, like, if I gotta, if I, if I gotta slow the bike down and speed it up right away, I'm gonna have to open that throttle up right away, so, I don't know, man. I don't like it. <laughs> I, I don't like having to, like, yeah, you know, change my riding style, you know, but. Okay, so that was the first time I took it out for a ride, all right. Uh, it was kind of disappointing it cut out on launches. How hot is it right now? Well, it's pretty hot right now. Controller's pretty hot. Just ripping around on the street. So, I don't know. We'll see how well this controller hangs out. I do like the display. 
Okay, it's pretty cool. It's easy to read in the daytime. Also, I haven't taken the protective plastic off of it yet. It'll probably look nicer if I take it off, but I'm going to leave it on there uh, until it, you know, gets too foggy. <laughs> um, we hit a max speed of 54 miles an hour. That seems to be as fast as it wants to go. Okay. Um, yeah. How hot did the tires get? Oh, yeah, they're pretty hot. Oh, my turn signal is on. Yeah, so everything works. I've got the three modes, so I'll probably run it in EP mode. I don't know. Um, yeah, just run it in sport mode, man. It's a good thing I put this switch back in, all right? Because uh, cause then we wouldn't be able to use the sport mode otherwise, yeah. Yeah. Well, it would be stuck in whatever mode it was, you know, before, so. Okay, so that's my first, uh, that's the first ride I've got on video of me riding with the EMX Ron controller. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I've kind of, I kind of wish there was more regen, all right? I'm not going to lie. There is regen. I can feel it. It's slowing the bike down, but not a whole lot. Um, yeah, man. Um, I don't know how this is going to do on the Supermoto track. I don't know how it's going to do, uh... For, for the races so we'll see how it is if I don't like it we, we could go with another controller but kind of sad I you know it's kind of a, a big chunk of money that I spent on it <laughs> but I, for, for seven hundred dollars I think you know that puts it seven hundred dollars puts it around like a BAC 4000 territory so I mean and I feel that it's definitely it feels like there's definitely more power than the B, uh, the, the there's definitely more power than stock all right the the mode one all right guys um, when you turn this guy on, it turns into mode one, right? You put an EP, you got to put an EP mode and turn it to, um, up here, right? Um, and then it, it becomes mode one, all right? Or gear one. And then gear two is with it off. And then sport mode is the full power, all right? Uh, it's mode four. All right, so, um, yeah, man. So, so one, I tell you, it feels like a stock... It kind of feels like a stock Sauron, all right? Yeah, mode one is like a stock Sauron. Uh, mode two is like, it's definitely, I know, that's like a stock Sauron in sport mode, all right, guys? Mode two, I don't know, it just feels like a more, maybe like BAC 2000, all right? Kind of like a BAC 2000. It's a little more powerful than stock, all right? And then the sport mode, all right, the warp drive mode, is like you got a, lot, a little more power, all right? Um, it's like a, it's kind of, it's closer to a BAC four thousand territory, all right? I've never ridden a BAC eight thousand, all right, but a BAC four thousand uh, at pulling about thirteen kilowatts. I, I, man, I just get the feeling that it was faster before, you know. <laughs> Maybe Hades Vegas just sense of speed is messed up because I've been racing, you know. <laughs> but, but like, yeah, it did. It did. Honestly, it didn't wow me all that much. It ran. It ran good. It has a top speed of 54 miles an hour. All right, I tried it. I tried it last night, and I tried it today, and that's as fast as it wants to go, all right? And then it doesn't like hard... I just found out just now it doesn't like hard launches, okay? So um, so we got to, like, not not open the throttle very fast, all right? That's kind of annoying. Um, and that's how I launch the bike, man. I, I, I wait for it to move a little bit, and then I just, just mm, open it, you know? So now we just got to... Open it slower. Alright, guys? Yeah. So, it's just it's just something different, you know? I've got to get used to it, alright? So, we'll see how it does in tomorrow's race. Um, yeah, honestly, downhills? Mm, man, I wish I had more regen for downhills. And, and on the Supermoto. So, I'm... I'm going to see if they can, um... If they can, uh, flash the controller... So it um it will uh it'll have more region than this. If it would be nice if it had like double the region. Yeah. But uh, but we'll try it out and we'll we'll see uh, if if they can change it, you know. But uh but hey, you know, I I turn the key and it runs, okay? And it has this cool display. I do like this display. It would be nice if you had a if it was tachometer. This is how much power consumption or, or current that you're you're built. It says times 10 amps, all right? So I guess 1 is 100 amps, right? 1 one times 10. That's 100 amps, right? 
Or is that watts? I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure how this works, guys. <laughs> the tachometer, I don't know what it displays. But I know it turns all red and stuff when it's when it when you're going fast. Alright, this is pretty cool. It's kinda like the Energica, okay? The Energica is just like that. Um Yeah, and so this bar graph, it actually works as a, a uh, battery indicator. I like that. Alright, and then the speedometer is nice. It's you can see it really well. All right, and then there's a trip meter down here. Pretty nice. I like this gauge. This gauge is nice. And then you can also you can also wire this so the turn signals work also. Um, as you wire it to your turn signals, um, but um, I would have to put an extra pin in there and stuff. So um, I do have the harness. I had the, it came with another wire harness, and it has the pins and stuff on it. So I could probably take the pins off of this and then just stick it in there. You know, if I wanted to. It'd be nice to have a turn signal indicator. Oh, I left my bike on. My other bike. 